everyone have you ever looked up into the sky and wondered what is there higher than the birds past the clouds further away than the moon there is a host of fascinating objects in the outer space let us for a moment leave the earth behind and explore the solar system we call it the solar system because everything is centered around the sun the sun is the biggest star in the solar system however since it is very far away from the earth almost 93 million miles away it looks small the sun holds the solar system together its massive gravity is what keeps the earth and the other planets revolving around it instead of drifting off into space the sun makes it possible for us to live on earth the sun gives us warmth and light without which human beings and plants cannot survive without its warmth water would also freeze the sun gives out heat and light because it is always burning it is a giant ball of fire and is made up of gases such as hydrogen and helium The planet closest to the sun is Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet. It has a rocky surface and not much air. It is the fastest planet because it takes only 88 days to go around the sun. Since it is so close to the sun, it is extremely hot during the day and extremely cold at night. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is the hottest and the brightest planet in the solar system. Although it is not as close to the sun as the Mercury, the carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere helps to trap the sun's heat, making it hotter. Earth is the third planet from the sun. It is the planet that is home to all forms of life. It is the only planet that supports life. 71% of the Earth's surface is covered with water, due to which it is also called the blue planet. The temperature on Earth is not too hot nor not too cold, but just right. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. It is also called the red planet due to its red soil and rocks. It has the highest mountains and huge volcanoes. Scientists are very interested in Mars because they think that people could live there with the help of some special equipment. They have sent rockets and two special robots to explore the planet. and send information back to the earth Jupiter is the fifth and the largest planet in the solar system it is so big that it can hold around 1300 planets the size of the earth inside it Jupiter is also called a gas giant because it is so huge and is made up of many gases People cannot land on Jupiter because there is no ground to land on and even if there was somewhere to land it is covered with terrible storms the strongest storm has a giant red spot on it Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun it is the second largest planet in the solar system It is another gas giant and is famous for the beautiful rings around it. The rings look solid from a distance, but it is made up of dust particles and chunks of ice. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It is blue in color and is called the icy planet because it is the coldest one. It is also a gas giant but much smaller than Saturn 
and Jupiter. Neptune is the eighth and the furthest planet from the Sun. It has many storms in the atmosphere and cold winds blow at high speeds. It is another gas giant and dark blue in color. Since Neptune is very far from the Sun, it takes 164 years to go around it, unlike Mercury, which takes only 88 days to go around the Sun. Six or more dwarf planets are also present in the solar system. The eight official planets of the solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. I hope you enjoyed exploring the solar system today. Thank you.